Whether you're a busy student, working professional, or a stay-at-home parent, learning a new skill like coding can be very, very challenging. This is especially true for busy people who have their schedules pretty much packed and cannot find time to learn this new skill. But with a little bit of planning and just prioritization, these are lessons that I've learned along the way on my own coding journey. So hopefully this can help you on yours. So without further ado, let's get it started. The first tip is learning how to code should be a top priority. We're all busy people, I get it, but the difference between a person succeeding or failing is prioritization. When something is important to you, you don't give up and you keep going. There will always be reasons why you would not want to code. I'm too tired, I'm too busy, I'm just not feeling it today. The excuses can be endless. But just like going to a gym where if you go consistently, you can see the physical results, coding and being a software engineer requires that same consistency so that you can really stay sharp in your craft. I highly recommend you to give up screen time, like watching TikTok less, watching less YouTube, maybe even watching less tech rally. I'm just kidding. But really, I just want you to focus on things that really matter. And if something is not a priority, it will never get done. You need to mentally tell yourself and explain to yourself why is coding a priority? Do you want to get a full-time job? Do you want to change your life as a software engineer? Are you miserable where you are right now? And is a career in software development going to change that? Remember your North Star and why you're doing this, and you will definitely make it a priority. So. Tip number one is make it a priority. Make that mental shift so you never give up and understand why you're doing what you're doing. So focus on the things that matter and you'll definitely achieve that goal sooner than later. Hey everyone, I'm trying to reach 10,000 subs by the end of this year. If you like the content and would like to support this channel, definitely subscribe. I would really appreciate that. Let's continue on with the tips. Tip number two is just setting realistic expectations. There's a lot of stuff on YouTube that says you could be a developer in two months or you could learn JavaScript in two weeks. And if you don't know your own timeline because you don't know this industry, reach out to software engineers and ask for some mentorship, some guidance about what is a realistic expectation based on your skill sets. I'm also available and maybe it's a shameless plug for coaching if you really want to go over that. You could also reach out to me on Discord. I'm actively trying to bring my community back together so we can kind of reprioritize and focus on our goals. So definitely, if you don't know what a realistic goal or an expectation is, then reach out to experienced people that are familiar with this industry. With that being said, some of the few tips that I can give you at a high level is that I don't think it's a realistic expectation to try to learn a bunch of different coding languages, but rather it's better to focus on a single language and then be really, really good at it. So try not to diverge too much of learning JavaScript and Python, then Go and Rust. Too many languages out there. Let's just focus on the ones that really is going to help you find that next role or next job. Ideally, you want to set a few benchmarks like I want to build a project within three months. I want to find a job within six months to a year. Building these long term goals with micro goals in between is going to be a really efficient way for you to kind of make sure that you're hitting these benchmarks and it feels really good to just build that checklist of things that you're accomplishing. So highly recommend realistic goal setting so that you can feel good about the progress that you're making. The next thing is creating a schedule. We are all busy people, but with the right prioritization and the right goals, setting a schedule should be a lot more clear because you know exactly what you need to work on. Now, let's just try to find time in your day of, hey, am I a morning person? If I'm a morning person, I want to make sure I at least dedicate 30 minutes to an hour of coding that day in the morning. If I'm a night person, then maybe you could spend a couple hours then. But try to block off time in your day where you really dedicate your time to learning how to code. Because if your schedule is very sporadic in terms of your coding time, then there's always going to be something that can interfere with it. So build out a schedule where you will not be interrupted during these periods of time so that you can really focus on building your skill sets as a software engineer. The fourth tip I would say is join a community. And if you're looking to join a coding community that is relatively small, I would suggest you to join my Discord community because these conversations are happening. It's starting to pick back up. So I will personally be more active in that Discord. So if you have any questions, definitely check it out and I will be there. With that being said, a community is really nice. It's really big. But you can also go even deeper by finding that one or two accountability partners that will make sure you stay on track 
and it would even be better if all of you are coding together. So with these accountability partners, you can do a morning standup and discuss what you worked on yesterday, what you plan on working today, and if you're struggling with anything, and you could work together with that partner to debug and solve problems. So maximize your time by finding the right accountability partners. The next tip I would suggest is just really capitalizing on your idle time. As busy as we are, we always have idle time. With that idle time, you can listen to a podcast about coding. You can also go on a Twitter space and hear about how to land a job in tech. All of this idle time that you would have where you're not actually coding, but you're not actually working or doing anything else is a perfect time for you to capitalize other things that are related to tech that you might not be able to do on the computer. You could do a bit of networking, reaching out to recruiters and just letting people know that, hey, I'm a software engineer. This is what I do. This is, this is what I'm working on. Spread your social circle because that's going to be super beneficial for you once you start job hunting and looking for new opportunities. We're almost finished. We have two more tips left. The next tip is break it down, whether you're coding or building a project. I, again, I use this metaphor of hitting the home run. Don't go for the home run whenever you're building a project or learning how to code. You need to break it down into smaller chunks and subsets if things start getting confusing. If you don't understand why uh, at a high level, why something is not working, then you need to figure out, hey, why is this smaller function not working? How do I break it down where maybe this variable is not defined? These are really just small examples that I'm using, but try to talk to yourself during those situations because there is a bit of analysis paralysis when something feels a little bit overwhelming, but this overwhelming feeling can be really reduced when breaking it down into manageable chunks gives you that confidence to build out that feature, build out that project, and eventually you're able to hit that goal. The last tip that I will give, and it sounds cliche, is don't give up. As long as you build out the proper schedule, you've prioritized the work, and you keep moving forward, then you should not give up. Yes, there are days that it's going to feel like you're struggling. Yes, there are days where you spend hours and hours debugging and you only write two, three lines of code. But that's okay because this is all part of the learning process. As someone that's been in the industry for almost a decade now, there are days where I don't write a single line of code because I'm spending countless number of hours just trying to debug and figure out what the heck is going on. So the concept of struggling as a developer happens to everyone. So don't worry about those days where you feel like a failure. Yeah, you're going to have off days. But overall, as if you see the holistic picture of you making progress, that is more than enough reason for you not to give up. If you stay consistent and keep keep with your schedule, I truly believe that you will achieve your goal. Overall, I totally understand that coding does feel like a daunting task at times. There's just so many things to learn. How do you prioritize your work? But if you set the right goals, if you set the right expectations, and you set the right timeline for these expectations, you will make most of your time to achieve your goal. I hope that these tips were helpful for you. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I'll see you in the next video.